Hello everyone, my name is uh, Avinash and in this video I'm going to explain um, one of the Amazon's new feature um, like you know EBS uh, multi attach option. So earlier whatever the instance we're going to create that is going to contain an EBS volume. That EBS volume we can associate to only one EC2 instance at a time. So but Amazon um, came up with a concept we can like you know create one EBS volume we can associate that volume to like um, uh, 16 uh, EC2 instances at a time earlier one EBS volume we can associate uh, to one EC2 instance if you want to attach the same volume to another EC2 instance you need to detach from that existing EC2 instance and you need to attach it to new EC2 instance but this multi-attach option it allows us to mount it to multiple EC2 instance at a time. So this feature came with IO2. Generally, we have general purpose SSDs, provision IOPS, right? So in provision IOPS, IO1, IO2, right? IO2 is the latest generation of like, you know, uh, provision IOPS EBS volume type. So let's quickly launch a couple of EC2 instances and let's create a uh, EBS volume with multi attach volume and let's make it available and test it from both the EC2 instances. So um, while creating uh, this multi attach EBS volume, we need to like, you know, have some limitations in our mind so that this multi attach feature works with the EC2 instances that runs on Nitro hypervisor. So Amazon developed their own, own hypervisor. Earlier, Amazon have a Xen hypervisor that it developed by Citrix organization. But now Amazon developed their own hypervisor called Nitro hypervisor. So the instances that running on top of Nitro hypervisor only will support this feature. So that is the first limitation. So here is the instant types that run or build on Nitro hypervisor. So I'm going to take a C5 instance and C5A instance, right? So then I'm going to associate like, you know, volume to multiple EC2 instances. I'm going to create a file like, you know, and I'm going to verify that. So let me quickly choose that. I'm going to take Amazon Linux 2 AMI and I'm going to take C5 category. So if you're taking like, you know, T2 micro and all, it won't support. So I'm going to take C5 large. That comes with two CPU, four gigs of the RAM. So then I'm going to choose like um, US East 1A. So if you want to attach a volume to multiple EC2 instances, all the instances should be in same subnet or availability zone. So then only we can, and these multi-attach feature won't work for root volumes. We cannot use for booting option. So then click on next. So I'm going to call this one as C5 instance. Then click on next. I'm going to create a new security group. So SC is the name I'm giving. I'm opening port number 22 to my IP, that's a secured option. Click on review and launch, click on launch. And remember C5 or C5A instances won't comes under free tier eligibility. I'm going to create a new key pair and I'm going to call it as lab and I'm downloading that key pair to my local machine, click on launch instance. All right, my first instance is ready. Then quickly I'm going to create another EC2 instance. Launch instance, Amazon Linux 2, AMI. So this time I'm going to take C5A instance with same configuration, but with different generation. So now I'm going to choose like, you know, US East 1A only, then only we can associate. That is also another limitation. Now I'm going to call this as C5A instance. I'm going to use same security group and I'm going to use an existing key pair, launch instance. 
All right, so I have two EC2 instances. Now, if you want to create a multi attach volume, navigate to volume section, click on create volume. And as I mentioned, so if you are in Northern Virginia, like, you know, if you are in Northern Virginia or Ohio region, so then this uh, IO1 also supports this multi-attach. It is like, you know, limited to only four regions at moment. But this IO2, that is a latest generation of like, you know, provisioned IOPS, IO2. So, you know, uh, it's available in all the regions and you can use this feature. So minimum required size is 4 GB. I'm going to pick same and I'm going with like, you know, just 100 IOPS um, value. IOPS I'm going with minimum. Why? Because even IOPS also going to cost us. So make sure you create this volume. Make sure you create this volume. Same as your EC2 instances. So I'm going to choose US East 1A. So then you need to enable this feature. I'm going to enable this, then scroll down. I'm going to give a name tag, multi-attach, then click on create volume. So now a new volume got created in same availability zone as my existing two EC2 instances. Let me quickly connect to these two EC2 instances. I'm going to use um, EC2 instance connect feature. Scroll down, just click on connect. This is the easiest option to connect to our Linux instance, but we must have a public IP address, then only uh, we can use this EC2 instance connect. Just click on retry. It should work. You have instance network configuration. So let's wait for a minute or two. I'm going to pick C5 instance, click on connect, EC2 instance connect, then click on connect. All right, I can suspect one thing that I have opened port number 22 to my only network. In that case, this EC2 instance connect won't work. Let me quickly uh, modify that as I'm using same security group for both of my EC2 instances. So I can just modify here and inbound rules. I'm going to open for anywhere as you are aware changes to the security group is going to take effect immediately this should fix that issue select your ec2 instance click on connect ec2 instance connect i am selecting then click on connect and there we got connected all right so then choose another ec2 instance so here I connected to C5 instance. I'm going to take another EC2 instance, click on connect. So I'm going to use same feature, EC2 instance connect, click on connect. Okay. So here also we got connected to this instance. So now let's navigate to EBS volumes and attach this created one. Before that, you can give a command lsblk. It's going to list all the block-based devices. We have only 8 GB volume in both the EC2 instances, right? We have only 8 GB uh, root volume in both the EC2 instances. So now let's attach this. I'm selecting multi-attach volume. Go here and attach volume. So multiple EC2 instances, we cannot attach at a time. So go one by one. So I've selected an EC2 instance, click on attach. And you can even verify the feature whether multi-attach is enabled or not. Scroll down to right here, you can find multi-attach enable. So then 
select the volume again click on attach volume so it's already attached to this particular ec2 instance now go and select another ec2 instance so my existing one is ending with 58 i'm selecting that another instance click on attach so you might get it out can we use this feature with windows operating system you can mount it but windows operating system don't detect these file systems so we will land into data inconsistency issues so it's not recommended to use with windows uh, uh, operating system so at moment go with the linux operating systems right so now this volume is associated to both the ec2 instance here we can find the attachment information the maximum association we can perform is 16. Now I'm going to give LSBLK here and we can see a new 4G, 4GB volume is there. And here in this EC2 instance also, 4GB volume is there. Now, see, it's available in both the EC2 instances. We really don't know whether this has a file system or not. So for that, we can give file iPhone S. So these volumes will be in dev nv me1 n1 so click on enter see if this command file space iphone s then your volume name returns with data as an output so that means there is no file system inside this newly created volume so now we need to create a file system or we need to write a file system for that the command is mkfs mail make file system what type of file system you want to do then give for that give iphone t xfs give file what what file system ext3 ext4 xfs then give the volume name dev nv me1 n1 then click on enter there you can see one file system is written now we are good to mount so in linux operating system we are not going to mount to like you know c drive d drive we need to mount it to a directory. So for that, create a directory, give mkdir to create a directory. Then what directory you want to create? This, this is like, you know, creating a folder and mounting it to folder. mkdir space give a folder name. I'm going to call this folder as multi-attach. Because you can give any name. There is no need to go with the same name. All right, so I have given a name called multi-attach verify that by giving ls now the command is mount then what volume you want to dev nvme1 n1 is the volume i want to mount it to multi attach the mounting is success now go inside this multi attach directory whatever the file you are going to create so okay now i'm going to create attach c5a.txt I created a, a zero byte file. So why? Because I'm in C5A instance, right? So I'm creating a C5A.txt. Now let's switch to our C5 instance. Go to C5 instance. And if you are giving LSBLK, you can find this 4GB file. Now, do we really need to write a file system within this EC2 instance? Not really required. If you are giving file space iphone s so then if you are giving dev and v and you one and one that you can see it is showing xfs file system so please don't execute mkfs iphone t command in like you know this this command whatever the one we perform here mkfs that you need to perform whenever you attach for the first time from second time or like you know any ec2 instance you're going to attach so don't execute this command if you execute there is a chance to lose all your data so then clear the screen all right so now i need to mount that to a folder so i'm going to create a directory mkdir so I'm going to call this C5 instance is a name I'm giving. That folder got created. I'm going to give mount slash dev, right? So then, uh, then you can give, like, you know, you can give LSBLK to the device name. 
So now get mount slash dev and v m e one n one. So that I'm going to mount it to a directory we created. See for instances, click on enter. That mount is success. Now go inside that C5 instances, get ls, there you can see, we are able to see C5a.txt, the one we created in this instance, C5a instance. Now, if you're creating any file here, for example, I'm creating a touch C5.txt, I'm creating a file here. If I give ls, I can see that file here. Not only here, switch to another EC2 instance, give ls, right? It should show that file or wait for a minute or two. So it's going to replicate. Generally, it takes like, you know, millisecond latency only. Right, so by this manner, we can um, associate a EBS volume to multiple EC2 instance. And for every single EC2 instance, we can have only one mount point. All right, so here we got that c5.txt, right? So that's like, you know, multi-attached feature. So thanks for watching this video, guys. And remember these instances and this multi-attached volume won't come under filter eligibility. Thank you.